Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create playlists on YouTube. So playlists on YouTube are like the name suggests. It's a collection of videos that you've curated and put in a particular order. So you can stumble upon playlists that other users have made and use those, or you can make your own. And the benefit of making your own is pretty, pretty extensive. You can make playlists of popular music related to your content of study in class and have that as a way to get students excited about it. I was a social studies teacher, so I would pick popular music from the different regions of the world that we were studying and play that for students and they would get really excited and felt like that was fun things that they can do. They would even ask for the playlist link so they can listen to it outside of school. You could even create some playlists of just background music, soothing sounds for when students are working, or you can put together playlists of videos to help students study or to help them learn the content in class time or outside of class time if you're doing more of a flipped learning approach. So it's really easy to make playlists on YouTube. I'm just gonna show you some examples of playlists that I've made. Here are all of the different playlists that I've made. So all different ones for different units and pieces that I've created. So if I want to make a playlist, it's really simple. What I'll do is I usually start by just finding a video that I want to add to the playlist. So um, let's do this. All right, so maybe this is the video that I would like to use. So I'm just gonna pause this. And to add this to a playlist, I'm gonna scroll below the actual video player itself and I'm gonna see all these different options. And when I save this, I'm basically getting the option to save it to a playlist. So if I have an existing playlist, I can add it here. Otherwise I can do, and go from there, all right? And I can set the policy on this to be public, unlisted, so people have to have my playlist link to be able to see it, or public. So I'm just gonna go with unlisted, all right? And create. So my playlist has been made. Now, if you're wondering, how do I get back to my playlist? If I click on the left-hand menu here, it, the most recent one I've made is gonna show up at the top. So I can keep adding videos to this if I would like by going through and searching for more. Um, I can even change the name of this and add a description if I want, such as instructions for students. I can even set this up to where students can collaborate too. So it's almost like I'm getting a shareable link for like a Google Doc or Google file, but I can set this up to where if students wanna to contribute to this study playlist, we can have a whole class study playlist and everyone can benefit from that. I can change the way that the videos are organized here in settings. I have all of these different options to add videos. And if I just wanna share this playlist on its own, I'll just click share and copy this give it with my students and they can watch all the videos I've curated for them in order, or I can even set it up to shuffle play. So really helpful option here for students. I think it's great if you're wanting to use some more flipped learning and give your students some self-help study resources and give them the opportunity to curate those on their own as well. Let me know if you have questions.